Good morning. Today's lesson is 10.1. Area of a parallelogram. Our essential question, how can you find the area of a parallelogram? Connect. The area of a figure is the number of square units needed to cover it without any gaps overlapping. The area of a square is the product of the length and the width. The rectangle shown at the an area of 12 square units. For a rectangle with L length and W width, A equals L times W or A equals LW. Recall that a rectangle is a special type of parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So on this one, if we had three um, width and four length, we would say four times two because we would plug in L and W and we would get our area. Three times four is 12 and we could double check by counting the squares in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if you use the area of a rectangle to find the area of a parallelogram, for example, if you draw a parallelogram on grid paper and cut it out, so here's my parallelogram, right? And then I'd cut right here to remove this triangle and then place this triangle on the other side. It's essentially a rectangle, okay? So what is the area of this triangle? Well, we have, oops, um, we have four centimeters is the height, and I keep messing all the answers up, there we go. We have four centimeters is the height and 12 is the length. So four, I mean nine is the length, sorry. Four times nine is 36, so our answer is 36. I could also count the squares if I wanted to see them. You know, I could literally sit here and go one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So what is the area of the par parallelogram? It is also 36 centimeters squared because it is four times nine, or again, you could count the squares. So my base of my parallelogram is the length, which was nine. The height of the parallelogram is the width, which was four. So the area of the parallelogram is what it equals to, right? So for a parallelogram, I say base height or base times height. So the area of a parallelogram is base times height equals nine centimeters times four centimeters, which is 36 centimeters. So the area of the quilt is 36 centimeters. Okay, example one, use the formula A, which, or use the formula A equals BH to find the area of a parallelogram. So we <clears throat> did a bunch of equations prior, but now all we're gonna do is plug in. Wherever you see B, you're gonna plug in the base. Wherever you see H, you're gonna plug in the height. So my base is 6.3 meters. I'm gonna put that in and my height is 2.1 meters, I'm gonna put that in there. So when I replace six, eight equals 6.3 times 2.1, I'm gonna multiply them and I get 13.23. So the area of the parallelogram is 13.23. The square, a square is a special rectangle with a length and width that are equal. So for a square, the length or uh, sides is area equals length times width, which equals s times s or s squared. So area equals s squared. It's the same thing. It's this times this. The difference is, is these measurements in a square. Remember a square is a perfect, um, a square, which that's not a very good square, but a square has the same sides. So you just, instead of calling the sides L and W, you just call them s and there's two of them. So it's s squared. So find the area of a square with sides. So again, here's my perfect square. They're both 9.5. So I'm gonna, I'm going to do area equals um, s squared. Or if you want, it makes it easier for you to just do nine times five times nine times five. That's essentially what we're doing. Nine times five squared, which is nine times five times nine times five is 90.25. So the area is 90.25. All right, example number three. A parallelogram has an area of 98 square feet and a base of 14 feet. What is the height? So we know the area and we know the base, but we don't know the height, but we know that the area is the base times the height. So if this number times this number equals this number, then this number divided by this number is gonna give me that number. So if area equals base times height, I'm gonna replace the 98 is my area 
and my base is 14 times h, and the way I get rid of multiplication, opposite of division. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 14. And when I divide both sides by 14, I get my h alone, remember I'm isolating my variable, and I get 98 divided by 14, which is seven, so the height is seven feet. It says, explain the difference between the height of a rectangle and the height of a parallelogram. Well, the height of a rectangle is one side of a rectangle. The height of a parallelogram is the perpendicular line segment drawn at the base to the opposite side, and it is not necessarily the side of the parallelogram. So it's the highest height it is here, but that's because this little triangle right here, like if I drew the height here, it would be different. I have to draw the height here at the very end where the marker ends because this triangle essentially fits here, um, making my perfect rectangle. All right, so we're gonna do a couple more because this is super easy. Find the area of a parallelogram or square. So again, area is base times height. So base, which is this, times height, which is that. So 8.3 times 1.2, all I do is I multiply them together and I get 9.96. Um, square is, I mean, you can call it base times height because a lot of people like to remember that, but you know, it's really just S squared, which is the same thing. 2.5 times 2.5, and I get 6.25. Okay, the rest you're gonna do on your own with a partner or friend, or you can also come with me in the back. All right, good luck.